The 9 plus 10 kid has been so quiet, 21. people thought he became a missing person. Ask Siri to tell a joke, she turns on front camera. <laughs> Parents get divorced, no one wants custody. Good, the dude. morality of... What's good? Dark Knight Gun. I'm Neptune. All right, bro, look. Today I got an interesting video. Today we're going to look at a video from the homie Sunny V2. This one right here is titled Legendary Memes. Where are they today? So we're going to see the makers of some legendary memes that we all know. And we're going to see where they are today. This should be interesting. I'm ready to watch it. As you know, I'm in the clouds. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I hope you are too. Shout out to the gang. Let's go. People in these 10 classic memes look completely different to when they first went viral, starting with Side Eye Chloe, which came from a 2013 video titled Lily's Disneyland Surprise. In the video, the parents tell their two kids, Lily and Chloe, that they're ditching school to instead go to Disneyland. Chloe, we're going to Disneyland! Oh my god! <laughs> With the moment then being shared to Tumblr, where it received over 2 million notes with the title, I just love this because Chloe is like, the hell is this girl crying about? <laughs> the post then prompted a BuzzFeed article titled, Side Eye and Chloe is officially the patron saint of Tumblr, in which they showed that the meme had expanded and was now being put over everything from album covers to... Okay, I didn't see all this. That's crazy. But yeah, I've definitely used that gif, that meme, a few times. Of course, who has it? The side eye? That shit is it hilarious. Is. Around four years after the meme first blew up, Chloe visited the Brazilian Google office where her face had been turned into an elevator and was being used around the city for advertising. So we just drive around and there's my child on a billboard. I was just... Blown away. Yeah, that's what happened cool. to Chloe after the hype died down? After appearing in the meme at the age of two, Chloe's mother continued to video her life up until the age of 10, at which point the family decided to sell the meme as an NFT, achieving a price of 74,000 US dollars. They plan on using the money to put their kids through college, which isn't a bad idea given Chloe and her sister are now both in their teens, as is Dennis Colin, also known as the Popeyes kid. The, <laughs> the Popeyes kid, yeah, we all know about him. Okay, so yeah, they're using the money wisely. You know, they capitalized off of that and they're using it wisely. Dennis Colin, also known as the Popeyes Kid. The meme began with an extremely basic vine back in August 2013, where the real Snoopy videoed a random kid in Popeyes who was waiting to refill his drink. Terry, I Popeyes. Hey, ooh. Say, ooh. <laughs> The following day, the image made its way over to Twitter with the uh, caption, when I see my teacher at a store, right. with the subsequent popularity of the meme, giving the kid social anxiety throughout his early teens. However, this That's would motivate sucks. him to increase his skills as a football player, making a post on Twitter roughly nine years after first going viral, reading from oh, Popeyes shit. to state champion. Oh, the post fire. was then reshared to Dennis's Instagram with the caption, I need everyone to repost this and tag at Popeyes. I just want to talk business, Smart. which was followed by another post only three days later announcing that he'd been officially sponsored by the company. He then featured in their Super Bowl commercial where he'd announced his own celebrity meal deal called the Eyes on the Fries or Pies Offer, which then led to him winning Breakthrough Athlete of the what Year the at his Lake Erie College just a few months ago. Although, while Dennis' story started low and ended... Shout out to my boy. He took advantage of that. That was smart. That was smart. Triumphantly, El Reseda's story started triumphantly, <laughs> but ended in tragedy. The meme was born back in June 2007, when El Reseda's translating to The Giggles was interviewed on a Spanish TV show, where he displayed quite possibly the most contagious laugh in human history. <laughs> oh, I remember this video. <laughs> I remember this video. Within only five days of the original interview, the clip had made its way over to YouTube. However, in September 2020, El Reseda was hospitalized as a result of diabetes, where he had to have his left leg amputated. Jeez. In response to the unfortunate situation, a French video forum raised 14,000 euros for El Reseda, allowing him to purchase an electric scooter and wheelchair, although within only six months, he was back in the hospital. El Reseda passed away on the 28th of April 2021 from complications related to his illness, yet his presence on the internet will likely live forever, as will Bad Luck Brian's. That guy, that guy, dark all of a sudden. Damn. 
That had nothing to do with the meme, though. I thought it was going to show how the meme affected his life. The meme called this nigga diabetes, guys. He started eating too much. He was stressed out. As will bad luck Brian's, whether he likes it or not. Oh, I gotta the see person this. in the photo's real name is Kyle Craven, who deliberately purchased a cheap thrift shop outfit so he could take a terrible yearbook photo. His friend then downloaded the photo, added the caption, takes driving test, gets first DUI, and posted it to the Advice Animal subreddit on the 24th of January 2012 with the title Bad Luck Brian. The meme was then remade with a different caption reading, <laughs> exactly. Class, dream, no, that's with a now fun. clearly established purpose caused the meme to go viral. Ask Siri to tell a joke, she turns on front camera, stops, <laughs> drops, and rolls into another fire. Parents get divorced, no one wants custody. God, the man. virality of Bad Luck Brian led him to recreate the meme at VidCon two years later before he'd then get recognized by Seth Rogen, which turned into advertising opportunities with McDonald's, the General Car Insurance, and Volkswagen. Bad Luck Brian oh, then featured cool. in a book on t shirts and over 20 different games, which, according to an interview with the Sydney Morning Herald, made him between 15 and $20,000 in the three years after first going viral. Okay, the article also okay. explained that Brian works as a project manager for his father's construction company, where according to his LinkedIn, he recently became the vice president after 17 years experience. Brian has since gotten married and had two kids, although as shown by this photo, they might not be a fan of the meme. Despite this, Brian recreated the photo for his 32nd birthday, although can you even talk about bad luck Brian without- All right, bad luck Brian, my nigga got good luck now. That meme is so disgusting. His face. Scumbag Steve. The guy in the photo had posted the image to his MySpace back in 2006. One. However, it wouldn't be until the 21st of January 2011 when the photo was reposted to r slash funny with 11 different captions representing him as the unreciprocal stoner that everybody had in their school. I've never seen a meme I could relate to more. I knew so many kids like this in high school and unfortunately hung out with a lot of them for a while, stupid high school phase. This one is on the money. Only made funnier when the real person in the picture came forward as 22-year-old Blake Boston, who was unemployed and wanting to fight anybody who talked about the meme. The fact that he's a real <laughs> oh, scumbag makes the meme a thousand right? times funnier. Steve then took advantage of the fame by launching his own rap career, starting a series called Scumbag Thursdays, and attending RuffleCon 2012, where he gained favor from the public after eventually embracing the meme. By this point, however, his popularity had well and truly faded, and scumbag Steve fell back into obscurity. Ooh. That would be until April 2021 when Know Your Meme aired an update on his life. My name is Blake Boston, aka Scumbag Steve. In which he'd show that he still had the hat while explaining that he was engaged, had two kids, and was trying to start a band. That very same month, Scumbag Steve sold the meme as an NFT for 57000 US dollars before making a post on Twitter reading, Whoever this is, thank you. You have no idea what this meant to me and my two boys. I'm humbled and so grateful, turning Scumbag Steve okay. into good guy. Greg, whose identity is still a mystery more than 12 years later. Good guy Greg has God, been man. described as the All right, scumbag Steve. I don't remember that meme. I, I don't remember it, but that was a cool little story, though antithesis of scumbag Steve. The captions generally depict the character as kind, generous, or empathetic to other people, having blown up around four months after scumbag Steve with this image here. Sleeps on your couch makes breakfast. But despite <laughs> the meme's instant popularity, the person in the picture never came forward to claim that it was them until around three months later when the following post was made to the Ask Me Anything subreddit. I passed the six-week challenge and I don't remember this meme like either. Greg. I'm a commercial <laughs> fisherman AMA attaching five supposed photos photos of the man who looked nothing like good guy Greg. Am I the only one who can't see the resemblance to GGG, leading other commenters to dig a little deeper? How did you come to find out he was good guy Greg? We showed him a picture of good guy Greg and he said that it was him. We didn't tell him that his picture was famous. Did GGG wonder why you had a picture of him? Not really. What really? What the hell? So this random dude hops onto the same boat as him and just happens to have a picture of him from who knows how long ago and he's just, yeah, that's me, and doesn't take a second to wonder why. In a different AMA, a user claimed to know the real identity of the real good guy Greg before posting this photo, which while looking extremely similar, was debunked given the difference in eye colour. The person in the mm. picture likely didn't want to be famous from a photo of him smoking, yet this comment puts forward a much more beautiful theory. He didn't come forward because he's a good guy who isn't interested in fame. Mm. He's humble and happy knowing that his picture is out there giving people joy and he's satisfied with that. He doesn't need the credit or the attention and it's hard to give an update on someone who's practically a ghost although the overly i hate good guys y'all get on my nerves y'all some little bitches. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. I want to see what happens to this chick. Now we've all seen this meme. Attached girlfriend happens to be the opposite, having spent over 10 years on YouTube talking about the downsides of becoming a meme. The overly attached girlfriend came from a video titled JB Fan Video, in which a YouTuber named Lena Morris parodied Justin Bieber's song Boyfriend with lyrics depicting her as the stereotypical clingy girlfriend. Although as the meme began to go viral, it took only 11 days before <laughs> Lena mentioned that she was uncomfortable with having her face everywhere. I'm always amused by the overly attached GF tweets. Then I realize my face is associated with it and I'm slightly disturbed. Still awesome. Despite being slightly disturbed by the meme, it would shoot Lena into stardom with every video on her channel racking up over a million views each, although this fame wouldn't last forever. The meme slowly lost its relevance and by 2015, three years later, Lena was barely gaining 100,000 views per video. By 2019, Lena had completely abandoned her channel, prompting an upload titled Breaking Up With YouTube, in which she'd explain how fame had taken taking a toll on her mental health. I sort of landed myself in a real depression and I was keeping it a real deep secret. For this reason, she'd then state that she was quitting YouTube for good. I know that this part of my life is done and it's time to say goodbye. Before announcing in April 2021 that she was selling her meme as an NFT. It managed to achieve a mind-blowing price of 411,000 US dollars, during which she'd give her live reaction on Twitter by stating, what BRB, I need a minute, W. TF. Truly, you have no idea how this is going to change my life. I mean it. I'm That's so cool. incredibly thankful and also still just blown away. So weird, so cool, WTF. Thank you, internet. Although she could still never be as confused as the happy right? ever this had nigga, a dream kid. This the man came from was a so 1999 confused. HBO kids show and featured an unknown child who was attempting to recount this quote from Hercules. Haven't you ever had a dream? Something you wanted so bad you'd do anything? Instead, completely fumbling his words. Mm -hmm. Have you ever that you, um, you had, you, you, you wanted, you wanted <laughs> him to do you so much you could do anything? In June 2011, approximately yeah, 12 years yeah, after the show aired, the clip was posted to YouTube where it went <clears> unbelievably <throat> viral, having racked up over 80 million views since it was first posted. Although still, nobody knew the name of the child. That would be until the 8th of July 2021, when Wavy WebSurf posted this video, prompting a message from a fan who told Wavy, Hey man, I know who the kid is from, have you ever had a dream? Went to high school with him. I'll give you his name so you can go check him out for yourself. He probably won't want to be out there like that, but thought it was cool you were looking, and thought I'd give you the answer you were searching for, before attaching a Facebook profile of someone named Joseph Serkiel, who had the dream kid as his profile picture. Mm. After confirming that it was in fact him, the two recorded an interview, where where Joe explained that he was now working in the corporate world. Oh. Uh, interview then leading to a BuzzFeed video, which has since received almost 10 million views. Why are you in the corporate world? You corporate world sellout. Oh my God, I hate corporate niggas. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> Joe still looks pretty similar to how he looked as a child. However, the kazoo kid looks almost unrecognizable. The origins of this meme are actually very similar to that of the dream kid, as both include a five-year-old child landing a role in a VHS TV show, only to achieve random success on YouTube many years later. In this case, the 50 million view video was called Yuan Kazoo, and given it was filmed 25 years prior in 1989, people began to wonder where the kid ended up. Using his name listed in the credits for Ambler, people were able to track down his Twitter, and since he was now in his mid-30s, he looked like a totally different person. With his newly found accidental fame, Brett announced that he'd be hosting an Ask Me Anything, on which he was asked, what profession do you have now? Are you an actor or musician? Responding with, I'm lucky enough to say that I'm still an actor and musician, which can be confirmed on his YouTube channel, where the kazoo still appears in almost every video. But while the kazoo kid continues to document his media presence, the 9 plus 10 kid has been so quiet. 21. I thought he became a missing person. Oh, After the legendary snap. bone was posted back in June 2013, an article was published at the website Hustlers titled 9 plus 10 equals 21 kid vine has reportedly run away from home and currently being what? searched for read goodbye note here, which stated the child whose real name is Habib Sis ran away from his Habibi. home Saturday night and is currently <laughs> being searched for throughout the whole Baltimore area. Authorities say the child left a goodbye note in his bedroom that read, I'm tired of everyone laughing at me. I'm running away from Forever now. If you want to find me, the only clue I'm leaving is 21. When the audience was reposted in the no, IGN forums, users. You lie. Why, why'd I gotta even be the clue, nigga?
Red. I'm tired of everyone laughing at me. I'm running away forever now. If you want to find me, the only clue I'm leaving is 21. When the article was reposted to the IGN forums, users showed concern. However, it was quickly debunked when the original Viner uploaded a new video captioned, My little bro is all good. Whoever made up that story has no life. Yeah. By the way, his name is Xavier. However, despite that being given crazy. his first name, there's almost no other information about him anywhere on the internet. His last online appearance was in December 2014, when he'd recreate the meme. You're stupid. Viner. Although since then, the kid has completely vanished. His brother, who uploaded the original Vine, continues to post gym videos on TikTok and YouTube. However, his last name isn't public, so we can't figure out Xavier's full name. In a 9 plus 10 kid iceberg, one of the bottom tier states, there was a rumor going around that the kid signed up for the Area 51 raid back in 2019. <laughs> although there's no source on the post or on Google. Given the Vine is more than 10 years old, Xavier is now presumably in his late teens or early 20s, although given he didn't really care about his fame in the first place. Hey bro, you know you famous bro? Yeah. You got like 200,000 rebounds bro. Okay. He's likely made the deliberate choice to keep his identity Facts. hidden. All right, that was a great video. We heard about legendary memes and where they are now in life. I gave my reaction throughout for each one basically. The last kid, the 21. Yeah, man, he just he just doesn't want to be, you know, famous. Let him live his life. I completely understand. I get it. He just wants to be a normal person living his life, man. I would too, you know. I like to live off the radar, you know. I don't want to be, like, all everywhere. So I completely understand. I get it. This was a good video, interesting video. Let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comments. Um, Yeah. Leave reaction requests. What videos do y'all want to see? I've just been looking at videos that I think are interesting. But what videos do y'all want to see? Let me know in the comments. Shout out to the gang. Peace. So froze now